hello, hello. Checking, checking. Alright. Hang on a sec. Hi everyone, this is Hammer. Back with another episode of Star Trek Online. Yesterday we finished um finished uh the Gamma Quadrant where the stream cut out on us at least several times. <laughs> I'm probably gonna redo that last mission with um defending the founder homeworld. I'm gonna redo that. But today is New Year's Eve, and about seven out, and it's about three o'clock, so about nine hours, it will be, be 2023. So, bring this year to a close. Today, I'm going to use my Dominion character. Rex. Alright. I haven't done <laughs> uh, Sorry about that. I haven't done much work on with this character in a while. I guess I need to get back to it. Just hadn't done much. are going to do the Klingon War story arc. We're going to get this done in one episode. Well, all right, let's get started. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions. So we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe.
All right, let's get to Bajem. Hold on a sec. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Kal Rec holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. Just a second. Just doing something. Yeah, it sounds familiar with McCoy. Yeah, it sounds familiar with McCoy. You know how he felt about transporters. Just got to do something right quick. Got to send something to my cousin. All right. Let's get going. I believe going. that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Yep, let's beam down. This story Starfleet arc will go quickly. This is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. All right, let's go to... Thank you. Captain, I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. As you know, the gem is sacred to the Vulcan people, and access to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin, the leader of the order that maintains the monastery, has chosen this moment to illogically refuse to grant Ambassador Sokhev permissions to meet with the abbot at the this is most abnormal. The ambassador has considered going to the council to request that they overrule Sabin, but the process will take time that he simply does not have. If the ambassador is unable to complete his journey to Bajem now, he will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Korodan is complete, and that could take weeks. Hold on. I 
I was just responding to a message from my cousin in North Carolina. The ambassador, I'm afraid, has spent too much time off-world. I have seen it change him. His interactions with other species have grown easier over the years, but our own people have become more challenging for him to deal with. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than he has in convincing him to grant the Ambassador's request. Okay. I was just finishing a message to my cousin. Okay, we gotta talk to the High Priest. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Sokath says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Okay, something's not right. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Excellent. Our departure has been delayed long enough by the whims of one man. I am prepared for the journey and can leave immediately. Let's go. Why is the two Bajoran Prylers are on Vulcan? Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory, and you are clear for departure. Live long and prosper. Hmm. We don't have far to travel to Bijem to the neighboring If you recall, uh, season one episode of Star Trek Enterprise, Pijam was destroyed by the Andorians to, after they, with the help of the crew, found a Vulcan spy station.
Okay, what's going on here? Playongs, what are they doing here? This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creep. Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming. Proof? Pa! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will... Okay, something's going on. Oops. Sorry about that. Patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any cl then the beast is slain. Makka! Very good. Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look up, Captain. I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Alive? You're a fool, Captain. Strike now before it's too late! You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it! There's no need, Captain. Hmm. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubs- Potentially. But only if a great many other factors were to be true. A true warrior strikes without mercy, Captain. I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many- A 
A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. A wise precaution. Okay, something is not right. Excuse me. We're not Klingons, we have to have proof before we can act. We live by rule of law in the Federation. Well, technically I'm Jemadar. I tend to shoot first, then ask questions. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soke. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. Okay. You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty. Yeah, beaming down to our coordinates. Right there. Such emotion on your face. I see now, my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and oh, the weak great. shall perish. The Klingons were right. Was quick. Gotta hold off a Undine ship for one minute.
I'm just gonna wait for reinforcements. I could technically destroy it myself. Here are reinforcements. Now we can take them on. Now I can get rough with them. Rough. Rough. <laughs> Oh, I'm being a little scrappy dude today. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. Real basic mission. The ambassador was an Undine? I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Question. Oh, let's do strange. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth's space dock. It may need assistance. basic mission to any ships in range this please help we're being pursued by Orion I got a boo big nasty battleships I want to do this. I'm going to be leaving this mission so I can de do this um, TFO mi mission right quick. Since it's loading, I want to do that TFO. I'll have to restart the mission, but I kind of want to redo. I want to do that TFO. I got to leave. I do that. I'll restart it. Oh, hey, Fuzzy Bunnies. Welcome to the stream.
The Herc are about to overrun this planet, and time is a factor. Several Jem'Hadar ships have been disabled by the Herc. Give them a power boost to bring the- Alright, basically we gotta fight the Herc. Sworn enemy of the Dominion. <laughs> Alright, I'll continue next mission as soon as I'm done with this. One Romulan Republic, two Starfleet. Alright, let's take on the Herc. Bring in my little her friends. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, I know, I noticed. Well, I welcome you to my stream. I, I, I'm kind of doing a full LP of Star Trek Online. I'm using my Dominion character. Whoever's got that tractor beam, please, you're gonna pay for that. Yeah, this is my Dominion Vanguard character. Really worked on this character in a while. Yeah, I understand. Well, you're welcome to stop by anytime, man. Well done. I need to get to the satellites. The satellite is back online. It will launch tractor mines against the Herc ships. Tractor beam. Yeah. 
The last of the refugee. Right. Refugee ships heading down escape route Alpha. Protect them. Head to escape route Beta. Protect the refugee ships. A refugee ship has escaped. Well done. Gotta keep those tractor beam mines. Her ship spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. Herc Dreadnought on sensors. Be careful. Refugee ships heading down escape route Alpha. Protect them. To escape route beta, protect the refugee ships. Herc ships right. spotted at escape route gamma. Get over there. You let go of me. We're speeding up the evacuation. All lanes will be utilized now. Herc ship spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. Take a few photon torpedoes.
Head to escape route Beta. Protect the refugee ships. Refugee ships heading down escape route Alpha. Protect them. A few dozen torpedoes. Spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. Refugee ships heading down escape route Alpha. Protect them. Head to escape route Beta. Protect the refugee ships. Ships spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. All right, all twenty ships are have escaped. Last swarmers. That's everyone. All right. To any ships in range, this is death. All right, we gotta continue. Go back to the mission now. Ships in red, please help. Yeah, we know. Let's get a border. Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. 
She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Understood. do the tactical option for this mission. It's not that I can do for that crewman because I'm not medical. crewman we hid an Orion ambush on our way to K7 we lost our weapons almost immediately and then we took a direct hit near engineering our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shield- I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. Alright, we gotta get them to safety, then we gotta save her. All right, we got to deal with the Klingons. I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> No surprise that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a freighter. But their call for assistance has given us a chance for glorious combat. Up, oh, defeated a thousand Klingons. Do nothing for her crew. All right, let's. They beamed out. Now we gotta beam out.
go say Captain Broat. Attempting to get a transporter lock on Captain Brot, sir. Boosting containment. We have her, Captain. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. All right. Well done. You saved that crew just in time. Congratulations, honored first. Another specialty point. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation Science Station in the Kasei system because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. It may be that the communications array is in need of repair. Please make the necessary repairs to the communications array and re establish contact. This trans warp be quicker. Nothing really much to say today. Years, years almost over in about eight hours.
Alright, let's go see what's going on. The Gorn. They just stormed in and started shooting. Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the crew of the USS Stargazer discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site ever since. It's a fascinating find. There are more than 40 kilometers of catacombs under this facility. Two years ago, we found a star chart in the catacombs that indicated that this civilization had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. The chart led us to another site on Casse 4, the Gorn. They just stormed not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the Gorn. They just not everyone. I'm coming with you, Captain. There's too much at stake, and I know this project. The Klingon invasion was a blow to Gorn self-determination and identity. These kinds of raids are the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. Yeah. Look at all this damage. We'd have helped if the Gorn had just asked. I guess when one of your leaders turns out to be a shapeshifter, though. Damages your sense of trust. There's another research team on Kasei 4, involved in a dig at a promising site. Given what the Gorn have done here, I'd imagine that team is in trouble.
sorry if I'm not talking much. I just don't have much to say. This is the dig site that our team was working on. They set up several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield. If we disable the shield generators, we may be able to get inside and rescue the other archaeologists. Look up. You can see the sh All right, let's go deal with the Gorn. is dropping! What is going on? The team here found remnants of a precursor civilization that may be a relative of the Gorn. Our understanding of Gorn evolution is woefully inadequate. Are they even offspring of the preservers? Gotta disable the shield generators before we can The get Gorn territorial claims building. aren't entirely without merit, but they would displace billions of people. A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. If you are an engineer, you can just disable the shield generators right there. About having more fluctuations. fluctuations. Increase the power to the shields. Protected shields are down! Incompetent fools! Alright, let's go into the main building.
that toss then, that jump. One to beam up! There's no sign of the other team. You are meddling in affairs you do not understand. This system was the home of our... We will not allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Warning. A diplomatic solution is the only way because displacing millions of... billions and... Dozens of Federation colonies it does not make sense. If the archaeological sites in the Kasei system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus what the Gorn claim to be their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. All right. Oh, man. I'm going to save the next two episodes for tomorrow. The next two missions for tomorrow. And finish it. Finish this story arc tomorrow so I have something to do. But for now, because I, I want to keep these episodes to at least an hour, I will finish this. Finish this tomorrow. So, but for now, this has been Hammer of the Super Paladin Bros. I will be putting this up on YouTube. Soon. Commander Burgess, Starfleet. So, but for now, I want to say Aloha 2020, 2022, 20, and Aloha 2023. Peace out.